Hi there, thank you for checking out this channel. I'm Sir Sandro and welcome to Factoring Polynomials Part 2. Let's get started. And our target for this video is to factor a perfect square trinomial. So basically, this is special products and factoring. Okay? We're going to focus on PST or perfect square trinomial. All right. So let's recall first the special product, which is the square of a binomial, right? We have x, uh, let's use a and b as our variables. We have a plus b, that is just equal to, I mean, the quantity of a plus b squared, that is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If we have a minus b quantity squared, that is just equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so basically we were able to discuss these two, right? These two, this is the square of a binomial. I'm going to write that. These two square of binomial. And of course, we were also able to emphasize this that the result of the square of a binomial is always a perfect, perfect square trinomial. Or we have PST, right? PST. So yung goal natin is, I will give you polynomials such as this one in this form, okay? And you're going to give me these. Is that fine? Again, the reverse lang tayo. Again, factoring is just the reverse of multiplying polynomials. All right? So the first thing that we're going to do is to determine if the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or PST. If so, we are going to write the factor using the formula in factoring PST. Let's start with this one. X squared minus 10X plus 25. Class, the first thing that we're going to determine is the first term and the last term. Observe them. Observe them. X squared and 25. Right. Yung tanong mo dapat dito ay, ang first term ko ba and last term ay perfect squares? Okay? So we have here the x squared. We know it's very glaring, right? x times x is x squared. And 25, we can raise that to squared as well. 5 is the base. 5 times 5, 25. So yeah, our first and last term are perfect squares. And of course, yung middle natin dapat twice the product of the roots of the first term and the last term. When we say roots, ito yon X, 5. Okay? So it should be twice the product of the root. X times 5. Okay? X times 5. So twice the product of the roots, X and 5, that is equal to 2 times 5, 10 X. So sir, it's 10 X. But in the original trinomial, it's negative 10x. No worries. Because yung negative dito, yan ang palatandaan mo. Yan yung indicator mo if what is the sign of your binomial. Okay? So we have here x and then 5. The sign is, since that's negative 10x, so it's going to be minus. And then quantity squared. Right, So this is the factored form of x squared minus 10x plus 25. x minus 5 quantity squared or x minus 5 times x minus 5. They're just the same. Okay, again, recap natin. Yung first natin na gagawin ay we're going to scrutinize if the first term and the last term are perfect squares. Okay, x squared and 25, yep. X times X, X squared, 5 times 5, 25. So X and 5, ito yung roots natin. So dapat twice the product of your roots, 2 times X times 5, that is equal to 10X. And then, yep, but it's negative. Therefore, we have X, 5, X, 5, negative. And then just square that. All right, class, you can always check this out. 
okay, using your special product. X minus five quantity squared, we know that we're just gonna square the first term and then add twice the product of the first term and the second term, add negative five quantity squared. Remember that? We have X squared plus two, X, two times X, two X times negative five, negative 10 X and plus negative five times negative five, 25. So the correct answer or the final answer is X squared minus 10 X plus 25, which is the same as our original trinomial here. Okay? Yeah. All right, do we have any question for this one? So indeed X squared minus 10 X plus 25 is a PST, perfect square trinomial, and its factored form is this one, a, a, a square of a binomial. Again, you are going to determine if this is PST, four, x squared plus 4x plus 1. First, observe the first term and the last term. Is 4x squared a perfect square? Yes, because 4 is perfect square, right? 2 times 2. So we can write this as 2x quantity squared. 2x raised to 2, or the quantity of 2x raised to 2, is just equal to 4x squared. And then, of course, 1 is a perfect square. Okay, a perfect square. 1 times 1 is just 1. So, yeah, meron na lang tayong kailangan i-verify. Yung middle term natin. Dapat twice the product siya ng roots natin. So, we're going to perform an operation twice the product of our root. Ang root natin is 2x. And then yung another root is 1. Square root. Okay? So that is 2 times 2x, 4x times 1, 4x. And yeah, that's correct. And since that's positive, we know that the factored form is just 2x, this one, and this one, 1. And we're going to put plus because it's plus 4x and that's our factored form okay you can always check that out again 2x plus 1 quantity squared you square the first term plus twice the product of the first term and the second term plus 1 squared and that is equal to 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 which is the same so that's all right. I hope you're enjoying this discussion. Let's proceed to this example number three. First, you're going to determine if this is PST. If so, write the factored form. We have 2x squared plus 36x plus 162. Let's observe the first term and the last term. Are they perfect square? Two is not, right? Two is not a perfect square. X squared, yes, but two is not. Also 162. Can you find a number that when you multiply it to itself, it's, it's going to be equal to 162? Diba? So, hmm, let's think about it. Did you remember the first factoring technique that I taught you, which is the GCMF, the greatest common monomial factor? We're going to apply that in this particular example because if you observe... 2x squared, positive 36x, and 162 have something in common, which is 2. We're going to take that out. 2x squared, 2 times x, x squared is 2x squared, plus 2 times 18x, right? 2 times 18x is 36x, plus 2 times blank should be equal to 162. That is 2 times 81. Fantastic. Now, let's observe the trinomial, the new trinomial that we form using the GCMF, okay? X squared plus 18X plus 81. Let's observe the first term and the last term. Is X squared a perfect square? Yes, we can write that as X raised to two. 81, absolutely. We have nine quantity squared. 
And we have the square root, which is nine, square root, which is X, okay? Now, let's um, check the middle term. It should be twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. So we have twice times the product of X, this one, and nine. And that is equal to two times X times nine, 18 X and the same, the same sila. Therefore, we can write the factored form of this trinomial as X and nine. And we're going to write here positive or plus sign because it's positive 18 X. So X plus nine quantity squared and do not forget the two because it's part of the factored form of this particular trinomial two. And yep, this is the final answer. And for the last example, number four. Okay, number four, y squared plus 3y plus 9. Let's check. Let's check if y squared plus 3y plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. This one, yep, we can write this as y raised to 2. The square root of that is y, y squared. And for positive 9, we have 3 squared. Diba? So we have 3, a square root of 9. Y, a square root of Y squared. Now, we're going to get the product. No? The product, twice the product. Twice the product of the square root. Y times 3. And that is equal to 2 times Y, 2Y times 3, 6Y. And they are not equal. This is positive 3y. This is positive 6y. Therefore, we say that y squared plus 3y plus 9, this is not a TST or perfect square trinomial. Okay? Hindi siya perfect square trinomial. I hope that this discussion helps you to really master, no? really master uh, factoring perfect square trinomial. Let's have some practice exercises. You may pause this video and then you may try answering these problems. First, you're going to check if that's a PST. If not, or if so, then you're going to give me the factored form. Okay, pause this video. Don't cheat. Right, number one is X squared. Number one is X squared plus 12X plus 36. Okay, determine natin muna yung first term and last term. Are they perfect squares? Absolutely. X squared can be written as X raised to 2 and 36 can be written as 6 raised to 2. 6 times 6, 36. And I'm going to get the twice the product of the square root that is equal to 2 times X times Six, that is equal to 12x. Yep, the same. Therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. Now, x and 6, x, 6. Since it's positive, then I'm going to write positive here and then just square it. Did you get the same answer? x plus 6, quantity squared. Okay, the second example natin I uh, we have... 16x squared, number two, 16x squared minus 72x plus 81. Okay, let's scrutinize this first. 16x squared and positive 81. Are they perfect squares? 16, yep. 4x, okay, we can raise that to 2. And then 81, we can have 9 squared. Okay, the square root of 16x squared is 4x. The square root of 89 is uh, 81 rather is 9. Let's get the twice the product of the square root. So we have twice the product of 4x and 9. That is equal to 2 times 4x, 8x times 9, 72x. But it's negative. But almost the same, but this one is negative. Therefore, your answer is, you're going to write 4x, you're going to write 9. This one, negative 72x, it means that your term here or your sign here is minus. 
for x minus 9, you're going to square that expression. So the quantity of 4x minus 9 squared. That's our final answer. And that ends my discussion on factoring perfect square trinomials. I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.